Hello everyone, welcome to Code Languages. In this video, we're going to be looking at another HTML element tag you probably did not know existed. Uh, we're going to be looking at the marquee HTML element tag. Now, this tag allows us to add a scrolling text to our website. Okay, so let's say you have an important message that you want your audience to pay attention to. So in this case, like looking at this website, let's say we want to add uh, a breaking news or important message, important note, you know, information we want them to pay attention to. We can add, instead of just adding the text in a static way like these ones right here, we can add a scrolling text, okay? That will scroll from my right side all the way to my left right or we can also make it scroll from left to right okay depends on how we want it uh, we can control the speed of the scroll uh, and also we can do some other cute you know animation tricks with it so let's see how we can add a marquee text uh, to our website here all right I'm gonna go over to the HTML part of this website okay and i'm gonna try to insert that right here right here where the white line is okay so that's between the review and the contact us area okay so let me go ahead and um let me just add a comment in here and uh let me just say oops right here okay there we go so we're gonna just i like to comment when i'm you know coding just so I don't get lost in my own code. So we're gonna say that part is a scroll, that's where the scroll text is gonna go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a div for now. All right, and then maybe we might need it uh, style. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a class to it. Uh, and just call it scroll text, okay? So inside of my div, um, I'm gonna now add my marquee my key okay let's see right here my key there we go and then uh, now comes the fun part okay so the marquee tag is quite unique uh, compared to other HTML element tags we've looked at it and the reason is that because it allows us to add some sort of animation effect right because the scrolling sort of gives us some kind of an animation effect uh, whenever we hover over the text the text stops you know when we take the mouse away the text move so because of that animation part of the marquee tag it does need a little bit of a javascript inserted in it so that makes that tag quite unique because it's sort of like html and javascript blended together okay and it allows us to have that cool animation effect you know the scroll effect and stuff like that all right so this tag has different parts to it you know as i'm coding i will explain what what i'm doing so you can see what is happening okay so the first part we're gonna the first part of this marquee tag is what's called the behavior okay so for the behavior what do we want this text to do for behavior we want it to scroll so i'm going to put scroll in here and then we want to we want this text to scroll from one specific direction to the other right so in this case let's say we wanted to scroll from the right side to towards the left side so for direction because we wanted to head towards the left we could say something like left right here okay and then um, we also want to control the speed of the scroll, okay? So I'm going to add another rule here that says scroll amount is equal to, and I'm going to set this to three for now because I think that's a reasonable uh, scroll, scroll speed that we want, okay? Um, then whenever the text is scrolling and say we want it to stop, when it, that means we're gonna have to put a uh, place or hover over you know whenever the text is scrolling and we decide we want the text to stop 
we're going to hover over that text, right? And when we hover over, we want the text to stop, right? So we're going to add another rule that says on mouse over, on mouse over, okay, and I'm going to set it to equal to, I'm going to say this dot stop, okay? And I'm going to put that in there here like that, okay? And then whenever we, we remove the mouse away from the text, we want the scroll to continue, right? So I'm going to add another one that says on mouse, on mouse out, all right? I'm going to set it equal to, I'm going to say this dot stop, okay? So you see that kind of a JavaScript aspect to this marquee element. This is why I said this one is a little bit unique. All right. So right now, if we go back to right here, you could see that there is nothing going on. And why is that? You can see if you look at the white space, right? Because this is where we want to place the scrolling text. Okay. So there is nothing going on. Why is that? Because we haven't added any text in there. Okay. So that's what we're going to be working on now. So let's go in here and add a text. I'm going to just open up a a span open close and inside of it i'm going to add a text saying making customers happy one at a time All right and i'm going to say read what our customers have to say about us okay so now let's go back to, and then you could see right here. Do you see the text right here? You see it's scrolling from my right towards my left. Okay. See that? And then you can see the speed is reasonable, right? It's kind of a reading speed. You could actually read the text easily. If it's way too fast, you will not be able to read. Now watch this. Whenever I hover over it, watch what happens you see that the text the scrolling has stopped okay and when i move my mouse away the scrolling wait wait it didn't stop oh it's supposed to start okay so good see what happens what happened here is that when i move my mouse away the scrolling is supposed to resume but i made a mistake here and i put stop so that's exactly what it did so instead of stop, I want to put start, okay? I'm going to put start. There we go. All right. So let's try it one more time, okay? So you can see the text right here. When I put my mouse on it, you see it stop. And when I move my mouse away, you can see that the scrolling resumes immediately. All right. So uh, we probably might want to style this a little bit, maybe make the text a bit bold and then move it a little bit towards the middle area. I don't know, but let's see if we can style it a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to use my style sheet towards the right. Um, let me see right here. Uh, let's just call this. Um, just call it scroll text uh, scroll text and then I'm gonna say um, I'm just gonna say the scroll text and I'm gonna say I want you to target the marquee and then I want the font weight let's make the font weight a little bit bolder I'm gonna make it 700 and then maybe we want to add a little bit of a margin to it so i'm going to say maybe one rem maybe one rem all right well, let's see how it looks now um okay it looks a lot better okay the text is a lot bolder Okay, so you see right here, all right, okay, when we hover over, it stops, move mouse, it resumes, 
So you see how it, it's moving nicely. It, uh, the speed makes it easily readable, right? Now we can do different things with this. You can even um, insert an image in there if you want to, right? Uh, and then the image will be moving from, you know, whatever direction you want it to move to. Uh, if you want to insert GIF, you know, stuff like that, you can make it look a lot, you know, cooler than that. All right. So you can come back in here and change the scroll behavior, right? So let's say we want it to slide in. You can change that. Uh, maybe change the speed just for us to test. Let me change the speed to, oops, where is my speed? Scroll amount. Um, wait a minute. Let me move this back here. Hold on. Let me move this guy towards the right a little. There we go. And let's change the scrolls. Why is it doing that? I wanna... Huh. Why would it do that? Oh. Oh, okay. That was my keyboard playing tricks with me. Hold on. <laughs> okay, my keyboard. All right. So, um, hold on a minute. Let me see something real quick okay that was my keyboard all right so we changed the speed to 15 let's go back in here see right right here there we go so what's happening here is we change the behavior to slide so it just goes from our right see right here it's just gonna go this way and then when it hits the left hand side the left margin it stops okay that's another behavior if you want that you can set yours that way. I did increase the speed just so we can, you know, just for demo purposes, so we can see what's happening. Another behavior we can use is called the alternate, alternate behavior, okay? And for the alternate, it's just gonna bounce back and forth. Look at this, bounces right here on the left, and then it bounces on the right, okay? And then it bounces to the left. If you want the, yours to behave that way, you can find a use case for that. That's up to you. All right. Um, so, yeah, guys, you can uh, you can also change the direction if you want to. So let's set this back to scroll. All right, and let's change this to right. Okay, change this to right, and then now the text is gonna scroll from our left to the right okay because that's where it's headed towards see that if you want it that way usually the right way to do it is to go left okay just like that way all right and then of course you want to reduce the speed to a readable speed i found three as the best readable speed okay so something like this makes it easier for you to read all right Okay, guys, I hope you found this marquee uh, tag useful. Um, like I said before, it's quite a unique tag. It has some JavaScript to it, but it's not that complicated. You know, it's a good way to introduce you to some type of JavaScript in HTML, right? So, um, yeah, find any use case, you know, breaking news important message weather alerts different things you can use this for um you know some people say it's outdated but hey chrome the latest chrome i have the re most recent chrome and it's still displaying right i mean this thing is still working so um i don't know i mean as long as chrome is displaying it means chrome supports it so i don't know why people say it's outdated Maybe it's because you can use JavaScript, you know, you can code this in a JavaScript file, you know, and then just connect it to the HTML. So maybe people are trying to encourage that. But hey, this thing works, man. This is the easiest way to add a scroll text to your to your website. All right. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, remember to hit this video. Also, I'm going to be starting a new um, uh, lesson series on HTML and CSS and so don't forget to look out for those videos for those of you that are looking to start uh, learning how to code the best uh, language to start with is html css and then later on we graduate to javascript all right 
So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.